This is the daily video update for Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We're thinking all this month about deep listening, and this Sunday I'm preaching on listening to each other's stories, to whose story we listen to. And so I've been thinking about that a lot as this week begins, how our lives are profoundly influenced by the stories that we hear and what stories that we hear become part of our own story. Those then influence the stories that we tell and what stories we seek out. Listening for narrative, listening for story, becomes a self-reinforcing cycle. It's a simple example of this phenomenon. Um, When I was a kid, I was a a relatively late reader. Um, But for some reason, I loved Star Trek novels, uh, the the mass-produced paperbacks using the characters from the TV show, but telling stories via print. I I found out uh, years later that the anthology that I had picked up when I was probably in fourth grade um, was actually the the novelization of Star Trek the Animated Series, Um, and that turned me on to, to all the others that had been written. Because when I was in elementary and middle school, they hit the perfect combination of reading level and characters that I were invested in, and I I devoured them. 25 years later, I've convinced my spouse, Stacy, to read science fiction. Part of her story now is being able to talk about the relative merits of N.K. Jemisin, John Scalzi, and Rebecca Chambers. Stories we hear influence the stories we tell. My picking up a a mass market paperback of Star Trek fiction in the mid 90s became 25 years later, my wife and I having conversations about the Hugo Awards. And so it seems to me it's important to think about the stories that we're seeking out, not just for their own meaning, but also what path that they put us on. If the stories that we seek out become a self-reinforcing cycle where we seek out the same stories over and over again, then what are those stories that we want to seek out? More about that on Sunday. For now, have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow.